Hello guys, Lewis here, welcome back to another video, and this one is a huge one. Pfeiffer's FIFA 20 Reels Mod 3.0 is out. It's the biggest mod for FIFA 20, one of the biggest mods ever, probably. And, uh, yeah, it adds so much, it is, it, it, it's a huge mod, really. Now, if you don't know what the Reels mod is, it's basically a mod that revitalizes career mode and FIFA in general, it makes it what it should be. It uh, fixes all the bugs, it makes things a lot more realistic, uh, like simulation transfers, player values, it adds new features to the menu, uh, it adds 600 plus new faces, 200, uh, like, uh, 200 face updates, referee faces, manager faces, a turfs mod, a camera mod, uh, the works, graphics, kits, banners, everything. Uh, I will link a link to a trailer uh, which goes over some of the major mod features. It's really well edited, really cool. Uh, make sure you check that out. It's just the uh, three minutes. So uh, yeah, I'd go watch that now and then come back if you haven't already. Um, but yeah, it is out to all patrons. Uh, it will be released to the public on the uh, the eleventh at around uh, very early in the morning. Um, to the public to for free, but right now you can get it and it's only two dollars um, And that's two dollars uh, per month, but you can cancel anytime so you could sign up right now and then cancel You'll only be charged two dollars uh, never more and uh, you'll still get access to the mod and Yeah, so based two dollars a month. That's like uh, six cents a day or something so uh, I mean if you can't afford it obviously don't get it but if you can it's a great way to support uh, me uh, to keep creating these mods and also to make the mod better because I only keep uh, 5 to 30% uh, of the revenue most of it goes to new faces kits tournaments graphics stuff like that um, so I've linked to a link in the description patreon.com slash reels mod uh, there are many tiers here so if you, the early access one is the one you want uh, you click join do that. There's a few more, you know, one dollar just for me, three dollars suggestions, five dollars beta tester, so you can taste beta builds, gameplay tester, then alpha uh, tester, which is ones before that, and then some other stuff. Um, but yeah, you go here, you just create an account that takes two minutes, and then you'd sign up and pay via PayPal or your credit card. So yeah, basically, you do that, and then you get access to all these posts. Anyways, the download link for uh, the mod is uh, fightformods.com slash realism mod. Um, uh, just, uh, all together, no, uh, yeah, no, uh, dash or, or, uh, underscore or something. So you'd go here, um, and, uh, then you just click download. Uh, as you can see, the Patreon release is out now, and the public release is July 11th. Uh, th the video you're watching will be right here. Um, um, hopefully you can subscribe to my YouTube if you haven't already. I upload lots of tutorials like these. Um, you know, you can win giveaways on here and learn how to mod yourself. Um, and yeah, then there'll be some info down here later, and you can see some of the mod images there. So you click download mod, and it would bring you to the Patreon post. Obviously, you have to be a Patreon at the moment, but in a week, it will be free. And then you'll get brought to the Patreon post. Now, this is uh, just an example, because I'm actually in the process of releasing 3.0. But when this video has been released, 3.0 is 100% out. Um, so it would link you to the post here. This is not, this is an older version. Um, but basically, you, the, there'll be some text here, a lot more than this probably, but it will go over just, you know, my plans uh, for the next version, what I think about this version, um, then uh, the features list, and I will actually uh, link in, in the description of Google Doc to that, the credits, and then the download. So here's the features list. It's like 19 pages, so a lot, a lot, a lot of info. Again, you can just skim through it if you want, or just read a particular part. Say you want uh, youth, uh, youth scouting, we can scroll down here and see uh, all the stuff for youth scouting, lots of the changes here. Um, but then go back here, and there's going to be a lot of info here. I recommend you at least skim through it, um, or at least read some of it, just so you know the important parts. Because there will be info that will 100% help you. So then the download section. Obviously, these aren't the real links. Uh, there's going to be two or three, depending. There's going to be a mega one. And now, this is known to have the fastest download speed, but for some people, there will be issues where it won't download or won't reach 100%, or uh, uh, there, there will be a download limit. So then you got a Mediafire one, um, and this is known to not really have any issues, but the download speeds can fluctuate. For some people, they can be very fast, but for some people, they can be very, very slow. And then uh, if you're watching this a few days after it's been released, there will be a Google Drive link. Um, and the Google Drive link is, no one has any issues with it, but it's, it's just kind of average download speed. So you can try each to see which one is the fastest, but it is a big file. It will be 6.6 .6 gigabytes, and it will the, like Mega and Mediafire kind of compress it. The actual RAR is 9.6.95 uh, 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 gigabytes. So yeah, it's very, very big. In comparison, 2.2 was uh, uh, 1.5 gigabytes, if that. So yeah, again, I recommend you join the uh, Patreon, but of course, it's completely optional. 
you know, uh, only if you want to. So then once it's downloaded, and bear in mind this can take a little while, uh, I will download this RAR, as you can see, 6 point, uh, nine, uh, nine, uh, nine, nine megabytes actually. Um, but yeah, huge file, just a RAR file. You're going to want to extract everything in it onto your computer. You're going to extract this whole folder. There are lots of folders in here, but you want to extract everything because they are very useful. Uh, now, if you don't have a program to extract software, I recommend you use WinRAR. You probably already have something. 7-Zip might also work, but if you run into any issues, make sure you try WinRAR. Uh, it's wrong, uh, wrong like it's 100% uh, free, and uh, yeah, it's just a great little, uh, great little program. You just go to this link in the description and then click on whichever language and it will download for you. Little exe, and then you open it and go through the installation process. But you probably already know that. So you go here, just select the folder, click Extract To, and then I just recommend putting this in your Downloads folder, but you can put it on your desktop or uh, whatever. Just don't put it in uh, your, your actual like uh, uh, OS directory. Uh, don't put it in program files or anything. Um, you can also put on your other drives if you have them. I just, it's best to put them in, uh, on the same drive that FIFA's on. So for me, that's this drive, and I just put it on Documents, click OK, and then it would take a few minutes to extract. And then you'd be left with this. You'd go into the folder and you'd see this. Now, this is a lot of stuff. You might be overwhelmed at first. So quickly, I'm going to take you through what each of these do. So first, the Fantasy Kits mod. Um, this is a uh, thing of tons of Fantasy Kits for uh, so many different teams. We can see all these teams. There are, we can check, 156 different fantasy kit sets, and each set is for one team, and each set includes uh, three to four kits, depending on if the team has a third kit. Uh, so this will basically replace uh, the default FIFA kits with fantasy concept designs, which are very useful for when you're in a few, when you're into uh, your career mode in a few seasons, like the second season. You want different kits, you can import as many of these as you want. Obviously, completely optional. Info, this is just general info. You don't actually have this many files, but you'll have a few on how to fix crashes on uh, you know the features list, on the credits, on the Discord server, on uh, my social links, on, F uh, on the frequently asked questions, stuff like that. Uh, I recommend you read some of those manager outfits. Tons of manager outfits uh, that you know uh, replace some of the generic EA ones with club customized ones, so they're very cool. Uh, then you got other add-on mods, so we got 2021 kits, so you'll get the 2021 kits. There's like 100, 200 of those. And then Black Lives Matter and uh, National Health NHS uh, on Premier League kits. So this adds those two badges that they are currently wearing in real life uh, to the Premier League kits. Um, then the edit outfit with real manager face. This will be if you assigned a real face in RDBM, you can edit your manager w uh, with this mod because otherwise it won't let you. And then the no crowd add-on mod, it removes the crowd from career mode games like real life. And then in the faces section, you'll also have a face that's uh, just Luis Suarez's face with no beard. Uh, the current face update in the mod has him with a beard, but here's just an extra if you don't want his beard. And at this point, I should say a huge thank you to every, every person who helped on this uh, tremendous project. We'll open up the credits here. Every single one of them deserves immense credit. Um, I'm not going to read them all out because that would take forever, but there are a lot of people. I could never have done this on my own. I did a lot of the work myself. Uh, so, so much work generally organizing it, uh, funding it, importing stuff. But also, I mean, I did the realism mod, I did some of the graphics, I did all the gameplay, I did the, the new menu mod, which took forever, uh, I did the, 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 the themes, the, the so, 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 so much. But yeah, you'll see all these people who helped out. Um, you know, huge thanks to Chilled Moose who made the regen faces, huge thanks to uh, all these people who made the tattoos. Um, this guy who made so 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 many uh, fantasy kits, uh, Reese Carr, uh, everyone, everyone there, uh, and then the Discord admins. So uh, everyone here, Millie, Darth Indicius, and a huge thank you to GN Klein 92. Uh, he is an absolute legend who helped so much with the mod, from importing things to creating uh, spreadsheets in Excel to helping with the Brazilian database to helping with realistic weather, to, to organize, to moderate the Discord server. It would not have been possible without him. 3.0 wouldn't exist without him. So huge thanks to him. I recommend you go over to the Discord server, link in the description. Um, uh, that's also in the TXD, but I, uh, I highly recommend you join the Discord uh, dis generally to get live help on your problems. You can discuss with me stuff if you have questions. Um, and generally, it's just a fun time. We, you know, hold contests, giveaways, stuff like that. But I recommend you guys go to the Discord server and just say thank you, GNCly92. He deserves 
a huge amount of credit. So then the other stuff, where we were at uh, other add-on mods. Other squad files. There are some icon squad files here. You have the baby ones, the baby with prime potential, old, and then prime. So that's pretty cool. Um, what else do we have? We have uh, RDBM tables. Referee IDs, this is the list of the referee IDs because obviously there's a real referee's face. And then this is a referee uh, team's table, a uh, referee table you can import in RDBM into your existing career since there's no Lewis script for it. Then we have scoreboards. This is uh, like 30 plus scoreboards that, uh, you know, different ones. We have an old Premier League scoreboard, an old two cha old Champions League ones, the new FA Cup one, and then all these scoreboards that replace the default one, like a Serie A scoreboard with pop-ups. It's super realistic. You know, Brazil, Euros, EFL Championship, Asia Champions League, Eredivisie, uh, International Champions Cup, Turkish League, everything. Slow gameplay, this is a locale.ini file that I'll get into later, um, and it uh, basically makes uh, the AI have more variation in gameplay, makes some more tackles, and also unlocks all banners and flags at all games. Also at the bottom of the screen, uh, in YouTube, obviously when you're watching this video, where the, uh, the bar where you can choose what time to go to and whatever, you will see little sections divided into little chunks, basically, of uh, what I'm discussing in each of those periods. So that's quite useful. I recommend you check it out and you can use it accordingly. Um, next up, the stadiums. It's basically just one Camp New lookalike mod. You have to import the Team Stadium Links TXT into uh, your Career Saver squad file to get it. But yeah, it basically makes Real Batista Stadium look like the Camp New. Uh, then we have themes. So you have two, you have backgrounds. This, there are like uh, almost 500 background mods for so many different teams uh, and so many different leagues uh, that basically replace the default uh, venue with the, the default background with, so, with lots of cool patterns and designs for different clubs. They're uh, pretty amazing, honestly. Then menu themes. There are general themes and team themes. So team themes, you can have like an Arsenal EPL theme. And menu themes, it basically just uh, changes the color scheme of uh, the Premier League menu, stuff like that. Uh, general themes, you can have black and cyan, white and red, uh, purple and blue, like uh, so many different cool combinations. And then TV logos, you have 40 TV logos or so for lots of different leagues. So yeah, very cool there. Um, then you got three Lewis scripts, uh, and uh, four actually, that uh, apply faces, tattoos, manager faces, and do some other adjustments to your current career save or whatever squad file you're using, stuff like this. Then you got all the FP mods. Boots and gloves add-on replaces a lot of the generic, boring, Volta, you know, all uh, out of date uh, boots and gloves with the, the latest, freshest, uh, coolest ones. Cameras add-on, it uh, adds all the, uh, it, uh, it, repl it makes some modifications to the cameras to make the, the tracking smoother and to make it a bit more, uh, you can see a bit more and a few like new goal kick cameras and stuff like that. Again, all of this is optional. Face updates, updates all the faces, so that's that's Sanchez, uh, that's uh, Messi, that's Neymar, that's Dybala, that's uh, Van Dijk, that's Firmino, that's Mane, that's Sané, uh, that's uh, Ter Stegen, that's Suarez, that's Griezmann, that's PK, that's Alba. So, so many face updates. Gameplay, this makes lots of changes to the gameplay, such as it generally being slower, the AI is a lot smarter, uh, more AI dribbling, more AI tackles, more AI uh, long shots, stuff like that. Graphics add-ons. Adds the 400 kits, like license Juventus, um, license the other teams, uh, real national team kits, uh, license Serie B kits, license GK kits for other leagues. Also, tons of new banners, flags, tournament textures, ad boards, balls, trophies, Euro trophy, uh, Braziliero trophy, uh, Copa America trophy. Manager faces. I had so many manager faces, like Gattuso, like Antonio Conte, like uh, Brendan Wa Rogers, Arteta, uh, Espirito Santos, um, Nigel Pearson, Graham Potter, uh, Hans Flick, um, who else? Uh, Thomas Tuchel, uh, there's like 60 plus, there's just an incredible list. New faces, this had 600 plus new faces to the mod. So we're talking Arthur, Semedo, De Jong, Renier, uh, Takafuza, Kubo, the list goes on and on and on. Uh, like uh, at Liverpool, you got uh, Van den Berg and Neko Williams, and at Chelsea, you got uh, Billy Gilmore, and at Arsenal, you got Saka. And at Manchester United, you got Greenwood. So, so many. 
so so many players it's uh it's quite ridiculous lots 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 of new faces new menus add-on this redesigns the player career manager career and main menu add-ons to be more functional and to look better and generally i really like those they're they're much more useful again optional referee faces adds 22 referee faces like mike dean michael oliver la hose stuff like that Regen faces replaces the generic and bland, all of them, all four, uh, 1,400, with new great ones by Chilled Moose with lots of variations, lots of lots of cool other things. Tattoos adds on, adds 130 plus tattoos for players like Nelson Semedo, for Suarez, for Van Dyke, for uh, Wine Algem, uh, so so many cool great new tattoos. Turf sat on this uh, is kind of like uh, the the popular GFX mod. It makes the turf super realistic. Um, they look like real grass. It's more three D, and the colors are not uh, maybe not as beautiful perhaps as other mods, but really really realistic. They're much they're much more beautiful than the normal EA ones, but they are really true to life. And then the Reels mod. This contains the licensed Brazil, the new tournaments. And the realism changes, so that's realistic youth scouting, realistic transfer values, realistic wages, realistic uh, sacking, realistic transfers, everything, it's it's huge. Then you got the normal locale file, again I went over this, uh, it's, it just makes some general th changes to gameplay and graphics. Then the two squad files, this adds uh, some stuff from Brazil, the, the Bra real licensed Brazil rosters with all the players like Barbosa and Everton. Um, then real team tactics, realistic rating, so so much. So yeah, uh, that is all the files. There is a lot. Um, you may have skipped past this part, but yeah, now we're going to go on how you can install this. To launch these mods, you're going to have to use a program called Frosty Mod Manager. It's 100% free. You just want to go to frostytoolsuite.com slash downloads.html, link in the description, click download for Mod Manager. You can ignore the editor for now. It will download a RAR. It will just take a few uh, minutes to, or seconds to download. Um, and then basically you want to open it. Again, using WinRAR, make sure you have that installed. And uh, it's basically a program that uh, allows us to edit our launched or our, our modified FIFA files. Um, so yeah, just open that and extract it somewhere on your PC. Again, don't extract in program files. Uh, extract it in your documents or desktop folder. Uh, make sure you extract it in the same uh, drive that uh, FIFA is on. So if FIFA is on your D drive, extract it on your D drive. It's on your C drive, extract it on your C drive. Again, you need to extract all files and folders. Don't just launch the EXE. So go here, go Control A, or just click uh, this. So then go here. Then let's just extract it on our desktop uh, for now. Oh, uh, sorry, uh, that is a mistake. Don't do that. Don't just extract it on your desktop. You have to actually create a folder on your desktop uh, because otherwise all the files will be scattered. So put it put it wherever, and then go uh, backslash, and then just put frosty mod manager you can put frosty you can put mod manager you can put whatever uh, so then go there frosty mod manager here you go then uh, just run the exe as administrator uh, and you can do always do that by going to properties compatibility run this program as administrator so when I ask you that thing click yes and uh, then you'll be brought with this window So then when you are graded with this, you basically want to load FIFA 20, so click New, and then navigate to the uh, folder where with FIFA 20 installed. So normally that's in the drive where you installed FIFA, Program Files times 86, Origin Games, and then FIFA 20. Click on the FIFA 20 EXE, not the trial one. And just click on this, it will load, click this, click Select, and then give it a second to load. Now you may have already skipped Frosty, uh, you may have already installed Frosty Manager uh, already, and you may already have some mods here, but if not, that's fine. Just click Import Mods, then head over to the folder where you uh, extracted everything again. And then import what you want to import. I highly recommend using all these main mods and then whichever of those mods you want. Um, but if you want to use other mods, uh, it's uh, compatible with some, for instance, FIP, or uh, the FIFA Inf Infinity Patch, or EEP, the European Expansion Pass. It is compatible, but you won't be able to get like the Brazilian League of My Mod, um, uh, and you'll have to put the the my, uh, their mods at the bottom of the applied list. So you'll lose some features of My Mod, but they're compatible. Other face packs are generally not compatible, but you shouldn't need to use any, as My Mod has uh, over 600 faces and covers everything. Other gameplay or career mods uh, are compatible, but mine has them. Other boots mod 
yeah, they're compatible, but mine has a Boots mod, other GFX mod. Well, mine has a free GFX mod, so you can use that. Any graphics mod, my mod has a graphics mod with a lot more graphics than any other mod. Uh, you know, any tattoo mod, well, my mod has the most tattoos out of any mods out there. Camera mod, you know, you get the point. Fantasy kits, TV logos, scoreboards, my mod pretty much has everything. So I'm going to use all these main mods and a few others, so just click, so click the ones you want. You can do them manually, uh, like one by one or all. Then go open, and now this can take a few minutes, five, ten minutes, or uh, if your processor is good, maybe only one or a few seconds. But it's going to take you a little bit to install these, so uh, maybe go uh, get a snack or uh, you know watch a video or something. But yeah, just uh, give, a, give it a, a few minutes. So now you may get uh, this error. If it's uh, the camera mods and turf mods, it's a, it will say, mod was designed for a different patch version, may or may not work. Just click OK, it will work. It will work completely fine, you don't have to worry. Um, now, if you're getting uh, this error for all these mods, then uh, that means that you need to get the latest version of the mod because a FIFA update has came out. To do that, just head over to the Discord link uh, below and you'll see all the, the, the builds. You can also check the Patreon and you can, you can ask there. Um, so yeah, you'll see all this. You might also get that error for some background mods or something, but again, don't worry, they will still work. So then you want to apply everything. So you have to go to each one individually, click apply mods at the bottom. Now I'll, I'll show you about the, the order in a bit. Uh, you can actually just double click on them, which is cool. Uh, just double click on all of these. So now you have them all here. And say I, I, I'm doing an Arsenal career in my second season. I want to add some Arsenal mods. Let me do that really quick. I'll, I'll add some fantasy kits. I'll, uh, let's say I want to add uh, some uh, manager outfits. We can actually see some of the manager outfits here. These are the like realistic manager outfits, and then there's some other more fantasy cool ones. Uh, we can see uh, maybe I want say uh, the the Serie A scoreboard with pop-ups. We can use that. We can uh, also maybe use the uh, the themes. Let's get a Arsenal background in here. We can see the Arsenal background here. Yeah, it's uh, it's pretty cool, um, and. Uh, also, let's get one more thing. Let's get a menu theme uh, for Arsenal too. All right, so we got those. Now, what order do you put this in? It depends what mods you're using. Let's say you're only using the realism mod. Uh, the first step is to put the actual realism mod uh, at the bottom of the applied list. But there are a few exceptions. So basically, the mod at the bottom of the apply list takes priority. So say this is mod A with an a, a update to Messi's face, and a, a, this is mod B with an update of Messi's face. Currently, this mod, mod A, would, uh, would show up in game because it's the one at the bottom of the apply list. So for all of this stuff, it really does not matter. It, uh, it, it does not matter. Uh, your fantasy kit should be at the bottom of the applied list, and so should your uh, theme mods ideally but they should work all right without that um, uh, but uh, there's a few exceptions like say for if we go to uh, other add-on mods the 2021 kits add-on mod should be at the bottom of the applied list or at least below the main mods um, this one too uh, the edit uh, outfit and the no crowd add-on those should all be at the bottom uh, but yeah otherwise it doesn't matter too much if you're using other mods, you just gotta figure that out yourself, really, or join the Discord and ask. But a few more rules about these mods. Basically, let's uh, let's say uh, fantasy kits. You can only use one set per team at a time. So you can use all 20 Premier League kits and and all all 20 Bundesliga ones and all the all of these if you want. But you can't use uh, two Arsenal ones. There's only one. But say for Newcastle, which has three, you can only use one, two, or three. You can't use uh, all three. For manager outfits, you can only use one at a time. You can use more, but they generally replace similar clothing, so you will run into some issues. Uh, uh, scoreboards, you can use one from each folder. So you can use one Champions League one, one uh, EPL, one FA Cup, and one scoreboard that replaces the Junior Act one at a time. For themes, again, you can only use one menu theme at a time um, per, per each of these folders. Um, but for backgrounds, gen uh, generally, again, one per each folder, but it kind of depends. Like, you can use, uh, 
you can use one Premier League one and one Bundesliga one because they have their own custom background. Um, but there, you will run into some issues generally in the main menu. So it's best just to use one. And then for TV logos, one per each folder. So you can use one Premier League one, one uh, all other leagues, one Liga, one MLS, one Bundesliga all. That's fine. So here we have uh, got our mods. I'm just going to untick these because uh, I don't really uh, need those. But we got our main ones here. And then what you do is you click launch. But first, if you've already installed the mod, or you used other mods, or you used Frosty Mod Manager or Frosty Editor, go to your FIFA 20 folder again, Program Files times 86, Origin Games, FIFA 20, delete the mod data folder. This is a huge new version, lots of things were changed, so you may run into some crashes or stuff like that if you do not uh, uh, delete the mod data folder. And then one more thing, go to Documents FIFA 20, then open up this FIFA setup uh, INI in any text editor, I have Visual Studio Code, but Notepad works. And make sure you change DirectX selects if it's on zero. Make sure you change it to one. That's very important. It needs to be on, on one. And then Control S to save that, or file save. That will also fix some crashes. Then click launch. Uh, the first time, this can take a few minutes. Um, it can even take maybe up to 30. After 30 minutes, then I'd recommend restarting your PC, turning off your antivirus, reinstalling Frosty Mod Manager uh, one at a time, and then test repair FIFA, update Origin, update FIFA, uh, join the Discord for you know more help generally. But yeah, just let this do its thing. Again, if you run into any errors, make sure you delete the mod data folder, make sure you reinstall Frosty. It might go not responding, don't worry. Um, I'll come back to you when the game is launched. And while we're waiting, uh, I probably should just plug my uh, socials really quickly. Um, you, uh, I have a YouTube channel, obviously, you're watching that right now. If you could subscribe, that would mean a lot to me. Um, you know, uh, I, I do a lot of work on my YouTube videos, even though I don't upload a lot. But, it, you know, uh, this video has taken me uh, two hours to record and uh, probably another hour or two to edit it. And of course, uh, you know, I do uh, giveaways on here, I do tutorials on how you can mod yourself, uh, t uh, tutorials on how to install mods, uh, lots of Q&A, stuff generally like that. Uh, um, and yeah, you get updates on the mod that has taken me probably over 10,000 hours in the past uh, four months. So it means a lot if you could uh, just, you know, subscribe. It's free. Then I have a Twitter page. It's at Pfeiffer.mods. Uh, uh, my YouTube is at youtube.com slash Pfeiffermods. Link is in the description to all of these. Then I have a Twitter at Pfeiffer underscore mods. Again, uh, just do updates, constant updates on, on what's happening. Uh, in for my mod and other stuff, do giveaways here sometimes too. Have a few active ones for uh, 3.0. Fight for uh, fry, fight for mods on Instagram. Uh, again, don't post too much here, but post some face updates sometimes. Some cool general stuff. Again, all these three ways you can get in contact with me and join the Discord server to get live help to to win giveaways, to win prizes, stuff like that. Anyways, let's get on with the uh, with the video. So uh, here we go, FIFA 20 has launched up. You saw that little loading screen. That doesn't mean the mod is applied. Uh, what does is this little cool uh, black and red background with those clouds and now this one. If Klopp is there, it says FIFA 20 Realist Mod, the mod is working. So advance through this and then select your profile and whatnot. And uh, I'll just go over a few uh, other things on how you can fully install it and I'll show you some of the cool features and stuff. So uh, do this, it might give you a little pop-up thing. Um, just click cancel, it's not important. You don't have to connect. You can if you want, doesn't matter. Also, a little tip for playing online. Uh, if you're playing anywhere online, just disable the gameplay mod. Uh, you won't be banned at, at any point or for anything, but just don't use the gameplay mod because it will kick you out if you enter a game. So yeah, we can see all this. We can see the mod info. Uh, again, this is part of the... Oh, don't. So yeah, here's the new menu redesign. Obviously, it's optional. You can see the mod info here. That's pretty cool. Um, again, if you don't want to use it, you don't have to, but I think it's pretty cool. Also redesigned some other menus to the player career and career mode one. So next thing I'm going to show you is how to load the squad file. So if you have the new menu mod applied, just click load squads here. Otherwise it's in customize, profile, load squads. Um, but yeah, just do that. And then you want to go to your, the place where you install the mod, obviously, or uh, extracted the files. So here, and then there's two squad files, the normal one, and that has all the, you know, all the Brazil stuff, all the realistic ratings and team tactics and new wonder kids. And then there's one with faces and tattoos blood, which is the exact same, but it already has the manager faces, the tattoos, the referee faces, and the player faces applied for you. So you don't have to use these Lua scripts. So if you are using all, all uh, three mods, the new faces, manager faces, and referee faces, then use the one with faces and tattoos applied. 
Um, face updates are applied automatically, obviously. So I'm going to use that one. Copy it. Uh, just go Control Copy or just go Control C. Go to Documents, FIFA 20, Settings, paste it. Then uh, obviously exit back and go back in. And then you should see a file called Fifer Studio 20 Rose Mod 3.0. I have multiple because you know, I do a lot of testing and stuff. If you want to verify which one is which, you can just go here, see the date modified, 554, and it's the second one. So that will mean it will make it this one. So yeah, then we have that loaded. Uh, you know, to see if the, the new face are applied or whatever, go edit real player. Re uh, there, and then let's look at, uh, we can see Wober as a real face, Mina Mino. Wang Hee Chan, uh, Erling Haaland, uh, Ngwene, uh, Daka, uh, this guy, uh, as you can see, a lot, a lot, a lot of players have, uh, have real faces. Uh, if you want to see a few more, I mean, you got, you know, like a Bellerin face update and tattoo, Socrates update, Louise update, you know, uh, so many updates, Pepe update, Aubameyang update and tattoos, Oizel update and tattoos, Lacazette. Uh, updates, the BIOS updates, tattoos, Willock face, uh, Maple Niles update, Nelson face, Marnelli face, Shaka tattoos, Tierney face, Saka face, Mustafi update, Smith Rowe face, Medley face, Balagun face. Yeah, but I mean, literally for any teams, there are so many face updates. You got Tomori face here, with Mason Mount update, Pulisic update, and tattoo. Uh, Kovacic update, uh, Reese James face, you got so, so many, it's ridiculous. I mean, maybe I'll show you some more later. But that's how we got the face supplied. One more thing, why don't we test out Brazil? Here is Corinthians, a newly added team. We can see all their players with many faces. Obviously, not all players have many faces because some are very low rated and it's hard to add many faces. But the main players, almost everyone over 70 overall is one. Let's look at a bigger team like Flamengo. We got Bruno Henrique, we got Gabigol. We got all the players here, um, but yeah, there's 20 teams, obviously, and uh, I can show you some of the faces if you want here um, of the Brazilian teams. Let me do that. Edit real player. Let's uh, go to the team like uh, Flamengo, wherever they are. You know, you got uh, Diego Alves, you got Ribeiro, we, you got Henrique, you got Bruno Henrique, you got uh, you know. Felipe Luis, you got uh, Rivas, you got Michael, you got Souza, you got uh, Rodrigo Kaya, you got Gabigol on his tattoos, you got uh, Arcesia, you got Gerson. Let's take a bit of a closer look at uh, Gabigol here. As you can see, really, really cool face and uh, tattoos are also great for him too. So yeah, real Brazilian league, lots of new faces, everything like that. I think it's really, really cool. So now, how to apply the Lua scripts. This is somewhat complicated and I'm recording a tutorial probably by the time you're, you're out. Uh, it's out, this video is out. Uh, it will be linked in the description, but I'll link an old one. And the Lua script basically can apply faces, uh, player faces, manager faces, tattoos, uh, to your uh, a different squad file if you're using a different squad file or your current career mode You basically install the cheat engine then the live editor and then uh, you can open the script and text editor to see a text tutorial But yeah, I'll link an older tutorial and a newer one when it's out in the description uh, And yeah So yeah, honestly you've installed the mod now. Uh, I'll show you a few more things for instance Let's uh, I'm not sure. Let's look at uh, a few more faces uh, kit numbers Let's go. I mean, Atalanta have a ton of new faces, but uh, Juventus, you can see the real GK kits here. You got an update for uh, Benucci, you got an update for DeLitt there. Um, you know, an update for Douglas Costa and his tattoos. An, an update for Ronaldo, an update for Higuain, an update for Dabal and his tattoos, an update for Bernadeschi and his tattoos, for, you know, Ventancur, uh, you know, Buffon there. We can see all these kits Rugani update, Demiral new face. Emery Can face update, Ramsey face update, uh, you know, uh, so, so many faces. And uh, let's look at uh, a team with uh, new kit numbers. Uh, you, Serie A has been heavily improved in terms of faces. Also, you know, you can see, uh, you can see some of these here. Um, there are really uh, a lot, a lot, a lot of uh, new faces for them in, uh, in, this, uh, in this next version. But let's look like uh, at a team like Barcelona. 
um, because they are pretty special. I mean, look at all these, uh, you know, uh, face updates, and you got Tristan face up. Update, Tomato face update, Tattoos, PK face update, Langley face update, Alba face update, Busquets face update, Messi face, and you can even get his one without his beard now. Uh, Roberto face update, De Jong, uh, let's look at uh, Griezmann, because this is a really, really good face. Griezmann also, you know, has tattoos still. So if we uh, we do this, we can see his tattoos, they are updated. You know, um, and yeah. I think that's a really good face. As you can see, it's full customization. We can do everything here. We can make them taller. The changes don't appear in lifetime, but if you exit it, we can give them traits. We can uh, use a real face so we can't edit his head, but for players without a real face, we can edit that. So yeah, I think that's really, really cool. Here we can also see Manchester United's new font. Obviously, it does not appear in the Premier League like real life, but uh, that's pretty cool. Um, if we go here, we can see in more detail. We can also see, you know, a play player like Linda Lobb who has a face update and uh, and real tattoos obviously you know I think Arsenal also has a uh, new font let's go to like uh, Hector Bellerin we can see their uh, new font too that's uh, pretty cool again doesn't appear in uh, Premier League games but for cup games Champions League games it will appear a few extra things like for uh, starting a career one of the important things is use current squads don't use initial squads don't download latest. Also, the realism squads don't come with winter transfers because the career starts in July 2019. Bruno Fernandes wasn't at Manchester United in July 2019. If you want winter transfers, you have to use latest squads um, because the that's how it works. Um, and uh, yeah, you, you'll lose some Brazil stuff if you do that. You'll lose the real Brazilian league. Uh, in the future, I may make a, a squad update with uh, winter transfers and the Reels mod compatible. Same process as installing the, uh, what's it called, the icon squad files as uh, the, uh, the Reels and mod squad files if you want to use those. And then for installing the locale, just copy it, say I want the slow go gameplay one, I'll do that. Paste it in uh, program files times 86, origin games, FIFA 20, data. Go in there, paste that, then go in mod data, patch, paste that, it may not exist, that's mine, just paste it, then patch, do that. So there you go, that's the install that. Um, so that is, again, pretty much the mod right there. There's a few more things like importing those tables with RDVM for the Camp Nou lookalike and stuff like that, um, but that's not uh, something I'll do in this tutorial. If you want that, I will make a separate one on that. But yeah, make sure you subscribe to the Patreon if you can, join the Discord server, uh, subscribe with notifications on, like the video if you enjoyed it, comment down below uh, if you need any help, but I recommend joining the Discord as you'll get a reply much quicker. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this, I hope this helps you, um, and let me know what your thoughts are of uh, 3.0 of the Reels mod, I hope you really, really like it, because uh, I, I certainly do. So yeah, um, thank you guys so much for watching, stay safe, uh, and uh, yeah. Bye.